This is Streets Run. It's a small stream, degraded in some ways, flowing through a forested valley. It's not in the wilderness, it's in a suburb called Whitehall, only about six miles from downtown Pittsburgh. And soon it could become a new park. I was first approached as the new uh, watershed coordinator for Sawmill Run and Streets Run to investigate this area along the headwaters of Streets Run stream in Whitehall. At that time there was minimal interest but it seemed like a really great location for stream restoration along with trails and green space and nature walks for the community because it's adjacent to the community's municipal complex, which has a lot of recreation facilities and the library and their offices. So it, it seemed like a no-brainer to me that this should be something that we should look into. However, the interest kind of faded. One of the new council members approached me about reinvigorating interest in this project. You know, the stream is very degraded. There's lots of erosion that creates sediment loads in downstream portions of Streets Run. But there are also lots of invasives. As you can see, there's burdock here and over there. There's uh, garlic mustard. And then we have some very croppings of uh, Japanese knotweed coming up. As we can see, there are multiple problems with Streets Run as of now. That includes debris and litter in the stream, problems with incoming drainage, including evidence of sewer overflow at one end, and most importantly for Streets Run, sedimentation and erosion. This Streets Run stream has a lot of potential as a, as a park site and to help this, the borough meet its uh, sediment reduction goals, but it's got a lot of issues too. Um, right here we can see there's a lot of stream bank erosion that um, and junk and what we see here is an evidence of what's called legacy sediment so this tire really shows you that the bank was at a much lower level and at some point a lot of sediment washed in from upstream and piled onto this area and then buried junk and and other features under this sediment so the problem as far as pollution reduction goes is that this sediment is also very erodible. So every time there's a big storm, more of the sediment washes down. Uh, and this presents an opportunity to uh, reduce the, the delivery of sediment by potentially removing this legacy sediment, moving it somewhere uh, on site that's less uh, erodible, and then putting in stream stabilization structures perhaps that uh, um, further protect the banks from erosion. So let's talk about a few of those stream stabilization structures. The first of which is a stone structure called a cross vein. This consists of two arms which extend from each bank at about a 30 degree angle. This structure is used when erosion threatens both sides of a stream and it directs water away from the banks and towards the middle. Another is a log vein. This is a structure that is similar in form but is used when only one bank is threatened by erosion. A log embedded into the bank at a proper angle can direct water away from the damaged bank. Other structures simply armor a bank from erosion, such as a root lot or tow wood, both of which provide habitat in the stream as well. In addition, live brush lantern and live stakes use living plants to protect the stream bank. Restoring streets run with these structures along with constructed wetlands and floodplains would create stream banks stable enough to support new paths and park amenities. The Whitehall Council seems to be more invigorated and interested in developing this parcel as an amenity. They also do not have any trails. And in Pennsylvania and the Allegheny Comprehensive Plan, the communities are required to look into active transportation, areas where folks can walk, where they can bicycle, where they can do things that are more physical. The other great thing about this is that having it in this location would easily connect to the high school complex, which would allow students and teachers to come down and investigate nature on a really close scale. In our next phase, we're going to be presenting to council, we're going to be doing an outreach plan, we'll of course have to think about property owners who are adjacent to this stream and whether they would be willing to grant 
the community an easement, which I think I think they will be. I can't see why they wouldn't be, but but I, I'm looking forward to seeing us break ground on this within the next year or two. This project is similar to the sawmill run restoration that we learned about in class. The Pittsburgh City semester has taught me a lot about sustainable designs, working in a more urban environment than I'm used to and a more professional one rather than the academic environment. It's also taught me a lot about ecological restoration, in particular stream restoration, that I wouldn't have learned on a regular studio. Thanks for watching.